All right, so today uh, I'm going to show you how to remove the car stereo for the uh, Toyota Sienna. And this works for all Sienna models from 2004 to 2010. I also bought the mounting kit that has the uh, plastic covers and the uh, wiring harness uh, for the new stereo. And this is my new stereo that uh, I'm going to install today. This is a 7 inch uh, touch screen uh, stereo. I'm going to do a separate uh, video for review of this stereo, but this video is going to just be the installation. To remove the stereo, first you got to pry off the two pieces of plastic on the sides. And when you just use a flathead screwdriver, so I'm going to just pry it all the way down here, so in case I scratch it, it's harder to spot. I also have some uh, pieces of electrical tape here, and just put it on the edge here. In case I scratch it, it will protect it. Just put it in here, pry it up, it will come out like that. Very easy. Do the same thing on the other side. Like so. It comes out easily. See that? Just held together by a couple latches. This, this here, and one down here. That's it. So next, uh, pry off this plastic cover with a uh, screwdriver. Pry it up. Pry it from the front because you got a latch couple latches on the back and that latches onto the uh, stereo over there. These are the latches. Latch onto the stereo, on the front of the stereo. Right. For these two plastic cover, uh, they have cables hanging out, but uh, just I just put them on the side here so that uh, they are out of the way should be fine and you don't have to remove uh, the covers so next is time to remove the stereo and it's being held only by four bolts one on the top over there one on the bottom same on the other side and uh, that's the bolt Also, I have some CDs in here that I need to remove, and the best time to remove the CD is now uh, before I pull this uh, out. So let's remove the CD. Because uh, once you remove the stereo out of the car, it will be really hard. It's possible, but it's going to be a pain in the butt to remove the CDs. Time to get this out. See what we got in the back here. Antenna cable. Uh, three wires. Let me move the camera up a little bit. Pull the wires out. There's a latch on the bottom there. Press and pull it out. it show you the back of the stereo all right so time to install a new one all right so time to install the wires but I've got a problem 
the wiring harness kit that I received um, it's got a couple notches on the back one here one there the connector on the car only has one groove which is supposed to go to that notch on the connector but uh, the other side the other side is uh, solid the groove is on the back of the connector see there but it's not continuous all the way to the end the end is blocked so now I can't push it in because uh, the grooves on the connector uh, is on the way I can't push it in so now I have to cut the grooves on the connector either that or I have to cut the notch on the uh, on my uh, connector but I think it's easier for me just to cut it and make the grooves so that it can uh, it can slide in so let's see if I can do that like so just want to make the job a little bit harder that's all Good. Let's try this. Now you can see the grooves is continuous all the way to the back. See now I can plug it in. Just like that. Let's see. Pull this out. See that? Two notches, two plastic notches over there. Go to the groove. Two grooves. Right? Like so. Right, good to go. Now just have to do the other connector also. Or the other the other connector is the same. The grooves is not continuous all the way to the back. On this side it is, but on the other side it's not, it's blocked on the back. So I just have to cut it again. Alright, so time to install the plastic cover. It comes with the front and two plastic pieces on the side. I already installed one on the right side and on the cover it says R means right side let me put the left side on and this piece is the only thing that hold the front and your stereo together and it's not held by screws or anything and it's only held by a couple of plastic latches and one on the top right there so it's very very weak so be careful when you install this because if you break this, it's done. So these two latches on the bottom there, it's gonna go in there like so. And the one on the top, that one right there, it's gonna go in there. Okay, so it's like that. Just gonna put it in. Pretty tricky. Uh, put this in, and uh, it's not very strong at all. It's quite weak. That's it. Just like that. No screws. Nothing. And then uh, these two is gonna be bolt down with the two bolts. Same on this side. And the top, there's a little knob that goes onto this but that's it so these two plastic pieces is gonna hold in the entire thing together including 
the stereo. So I'm gonna have to install my stereo in here somehow. Uh, in here. And then I'm gonna screw it to the side. You see the part where you can screw it in? Same here on this side. And these two plastic pieces is gonna hold the entire thing together. Uh, I guess I have to do something to reinforce this because this is very flimsy. Very flimsy. Alright, and there's a few problems with this plastic cover. It has another cover on the front, like so. All right, But the problem is that this is a little bit small for my new stereo. It does not fit. See that? Just a little bit small. So I have to uh, get rid of this. I have to install without that. That means. Eh. And then this is barely fit my stereo. And uh, it sticks out too much. This stereo has got an extra plastic piece on the side here that makes it just a little bit bigger. So it doesn't slide in all the way. Only slides up to that plastic piece and it got stuck. See that? So if I do this, it's going to stick out and it doesn't really look good. So. I'm going to install it from the back, like that. It's going to be like that. It's going to be a little bit deep in, but that's the only way I can do uh, with this thing. Now I'm going to just install the screws on the side right there, one here, one over there. Maybe have to drill, uh, fix the screws a little bit. Doesn't really align perfectly. Same on this side. Alright, so let me show you how I mount this thing together. So on this side I already got two screws in. That's mounting hole on the stereo itself. So I just put the screw through it. These are uh, 832 machine screw. Right, so I just have to mount to the last mounting hole right there. And uh, that should be done. Right, so time to wire them together. Got two sets of wires. This set here is from the stereo unit. This set here is from the harness uh, kit. So this, these two wires are gonna plug in the back of my car like so. There's only one way to plug in. Okay. And then I'm going to have to connect the other wire to this two wire. And then this two connector is going to connect to the connectors in the car. That way I don't have to cut the wire in the car. So what I'm going to do, and these are already a, a strip, so all you got to do is just bend and pull and it's out very nice there are eight wires the first co connector has got eight wires these are connect um, speaker wires purple gray white and green so each pair got a solid color and a stripe color right? the other connector has uh, let's see 
black is ground, red is 12 volt power supply, blue is a uh, power antenna which I don't have so I already use a heat shrink to cover it up so it doesn't short out. Pink is parking sensor which I don't use. Orange, I'm not sure what orange is so I don't use it. Just cover it up. And then yellow is memory, it's constant 12 volts. That's gonna match up with the color for the other connector. So we have the same colors here, so I'm just gonna uh, put them together. So say let's do the red one first. This is the uh, power. So what I do is I'm just gonna twist them and I use a wing nut. And then put them together like that. Pretty tight. And I'm gonna do the same for the rest of the wires. They are color matching. So all you gotta do is just match up the colors and uh, should be good to go. Alright, so I'm done with the wiring, all connected by wing nuts. I also put some tie wrap to tie them all together so that they don't come loose under stress. Now I can just pull really hard and uh, stay put. So now I just have to plug this into the unit and the other end to the car. Now should be good to go. That in there like so. And plug that in there. Alright, all nice and neat. Should be good to go. Alright, so time to put it in. And in the car there are three connectors. The unit itself only has two connectors. So the third connector in the car I believe is for steering wheel steering wheel control and you won't be able to control the new stereo from the steering wheel anymore. It's designed specifically for Toyota anyway. So I just have to use these two these two connectors and I just plug it in. Should be good to go. Now let's see if we can like so plug that in plug that in see what we got no smoke coming out that's good news. Let's put it in so it's, it's, it's not fit. See that? All the latches line up. This part on the top here line up. That bolts line, line up and the one down there also lines up. So everything lines up fine. Okay. Alright, so put all my bolts in and tighten it up real good. Got my cover on. And now the last cover on. Snap it in. Snap that in. Good to go. Looks like new. There we go. Now it's time to turn it on. Let's see if it turns on. Fingers crossed. No. There we go. Now I have to press and hold the power button. But there we go. Nice and bright screen. Turn down the volume here. Nice. 
Alright, I have a Samsung 64 gigabyte micro SD card. And let's see if uh, this stereo can take up to 64 gigabyte. Push it in. There you go. Instantly play the video. And this is the previous video that I made earlier. The touch screen is not really sensitive. Let me pause it. There we go. It plays uh, video just fine. And uh, I guess that's pretty much it. It'll be tricky to install, especially this plastic bezel. But uh, I finally, I finally figured that out. My next video, I'm gonna do a review, uh, detailed review of this uh, stereo. So stay tuned for that, and uh, I'll see you next time.